Hello. So this is um, a test I've done with Guatemala La Maravilla. And what we've done, um, based on sort of a lecture that George Howell, a presentation George Howell gave in Oslo uh, at the Nordic Barista Cup, was I've separated um, two uh, La Maravilla into two different batches. One that had a very smooth appearance in the green coffee with um, a very partial silver skin to zero silver skin. The silver skin being the, the, the chap that still clings to the green coffee. And um, then I loaded another sample with uh, more complete silver skins. His assertion is that the, a, a total silver skin over the coffee indicates um, that it may not, might not be fully mature. Um, I'm not so sure. I mean, one thing he was careful to point out is you don't want coffee polished. Polishing is worse than anything. Um, so you don't want that chaffery appearance mechanically produced uh, is bad. Um, but I think a lot of coffees, the maturity, it's a, it's a little bit tricky to tell which ones are truly immature by looking at the silver skin. Um, there's a certain surface texture that a truly immature coffee bean has um, that's combined with the presence of the silver skin that really tells you that it's immature. So anyway, these are, are the cups. I only have enough to produce two cups of each. Um, I'm going to use the macro photos to show you the samples. But uh, um, the interesting thing is that both, um, both the ones I sorted for the smooth appearance and the not smooth, both after roasting had light beans that would indicate Quaker. And the light bean in a washed coffee especially that uh, doesn't take on roast color, uh, that occurs because chemically uh, it doesn't have the compounds to produce the browning reactions and that is because it's immature. So a Quaker after roasting really tells you if something's immature. So anyway, sorry, I, bending down like this, awkward. Okay, fairly comparable. I would say this one's sweeter. I don't know which is which, but I, I think I can kind of guess from the appearance, but the names are hidden from me, so it's blind, but not extremely blind, so. Let's put some water in these cups. Okay, well, as for the cupping results, I kind of blew the video where I described um, what we found. So, um, I'm going to summarize it here, looking at some cups that are not actually that test. Um, what was interesting was that the, um, the, the, every single cup was extremely different. Um, so there was a lack of uniformity between the coffees, even with the one that was pretty well sorted. Um, that, you know, in the cupping process, you make a cup from 30 distinct, discrete coffee beans. That's why we don't grind it all, then scoop it out into cups, blending together defects and good coffee and bad coffee. We s select, you know, 30 coffee beans or whatever it is that equals, in these, this case, 12 grams, grind it, and that's that cup. So what the result was, was it backed up the um, idea of the silver skins, um, the full silver skins, including some that are immature. Um, the two that were smooth that I'd sorted out had a definite um, better cup. Um, one was extremely good, extremely clean, very articulate finish, sweeter, less distractions in the cup. Uh, that was what we found when George Howell presented this in Oslo. So. Um, the second cup was a little murkier. Um, like I said, went after roasting, both samples had some light uh, surface color beans that would indicate Quaker or semi-Quaker. Um, the, as you saw in the macro photo, the one that was um, the Phil Silver Skins, both of those cups were a little bit below. One wasn't quite so bad. Uh, one was almost comparable to the uh, less quality cup of the... Um, of the smooth surface appearance. And then the um, one cup of the heavy silver skins, full silver skins, was truly awful. It was absolutely night and day difference between the best cup of the smooth surface. 
So um, uh, what I think I need to do is just repeat this, um, do this with some other coffees, try to build up some sense of whether this is true across the board. Um, and uh, it was, it's an interesting experiment. Uh, you should definitely look closer at the silver skins in your green coffee. Don't be quick to judge. I don't think that's what George Howell intended. He just is saying there's something to, that you can discover in the coffee, and um, this is a procedure you can use for any anomaly you see in your green coffee that's strange, is do a separation, load one batch with this, the strange coffee, and find out whether it's having an effect or not. So uh, that's the point of the video. Bye.